Industrial communication systems such as RS-485 and RS-422 often require data transmission between multiple devices over long distances. While having multiple devices communicating with each other on the same twisted pair cable is robust and cost-effective, it also introduces two major challenges. First, because of the long distances and the surrounding electrical devices, RS-485, RS-422 networks are often exposed to electrical noises, remote lightning, sparks, and voltage surges. Second, because the ground potential at different nodes could be different, significant ground currents could flow through the path of least resistance via the common earth ground and cause the ground loops problem. There are a few methods of voltage and current surge protection in the industry, and the most effective are optical isolators and surge protectors. An optical isolator or opto-isolator is used to block high voltages and transient surges so that a surge in one part of the system will not disrupt or destroy the other parts. Optical isolation uses an LED light-emitting device and a photosensitive transistor to transfer data across the isolation barrier, typically an air gap. In other words, data is transmitted using light instead of electrical signals so there is no physical connections between both sides, including grounds and data lines, thus removing the problems of noises, remote lighting, sparks, voltage surges, and ground loops, and effectively preventing electrical surges and spikes from destroying other parts of the system. Furthermore, because optical isolation uses light to transmit data across the isolation barrier, it also gains the advantage of immunity from electrical and magnetic field interference. This makes optical isolation an effective solution in industrial areas where strong electric or magnetic fields could be present. Surge protectors are mainly used for protecting power and data lines against electrical surges and spikes, including those caused by lightning. The main function of a surge protector is to limit the voltage introduced to an electrical device by either blocking or shorting to ground any voltages above a safe threshold. Surge protectors often come with three stages of surge protection – gas discharge tubes GDT, protection resistors, and transient voltage suppressors TVS. When a high voltage surge is introduced into the input, the GDT conducts electrical current after becoming ionized, which in turn discharges the high voltage surge to the earth ground. The excessive voltage will be further clamped to a safe range that the equipment can accept by the TVS. Industrial communication solutions. Rugged, simple, reliable. Comfront. Communications made easy.